particular question, we are given 27 people attend a party. Which of the following statements can never be true? So in this kind of questions, you can solve them by two ways. One is by eliminating the options or you just check each and every option and see which one fits. The first statement is, there is a person in the party who is acquainted with all 26 others. That is quite possible. There is no reason why there cannot be a person who is not acquainted with all three, all of them. Each person in the party has a different number of acquaintances. Now this may or may not be true. I, I don't know. I'll get back to it. There is a person in the party who has an odd number of acquaintances. That is also quite possible. There is nothing wrong with this. It's possible that I am there at the party and I know only one person who is you. In the party, there is no set of three mutual acquaintances. So what three mutual acquaintances means is that I know a set of three people and you also know the same set of three people, which is also quite possible. So very quickly, without any thinking or calculation, we have found out the answer as B because all the others are possible. You have to find out which one can never be true. So very easily, we have got the answer as B. But now let us also check why B is the answer? What is wrong with B? Why can't it ever be true? The statement says each person in the party has a different number of acquaintances. So that means if there are 27 people, you will need 27 different numbers and not just any numbers, 27 different whole numbers. So you start with the lowest possibility. Let's say there is a person who knows nobody or zero acquaintances. Then there is one with one. Then there is another with 2, then 3, then 4, till 26. So these are 27 separate possibilities. But is this possible? Let's say there is a person A who knows no one. And then there is a person X who knows all 26. How is this possible? If A knows no one, then A does not know X. There is no relationship between A and X. But if X knows everyone, X knows all 26 others, that means X knows A as well. So this statement is self-contradictory and that is the reason why statement B can never be true and that is the reason why B is our answer. Thank you.